telephone is all right this morning. Thank you. I think it's very difficult to stay off modern topics because they're so fresh. It's kind of, yeah. they certainly don't feel like they were written before the First World War. They, see, they feel like they were written to me with the knowledge of what was coming. The system is about to be, you know, have, have a road train go through it. It's about to change forever. People are about to spend time together who've never really actually spent time together as human beings. Because, you know, you can have servants, but you don't get to know them necessarily. They're just, they're not really people. If the war hadn't broken out, women may have got the vote considerably earlier, you know. But it was very, very interesting, what the whole class thing and the political sort of turmoil that was going on, before France, Ferdinand ever copped a bullet, you know, before anybody saw the war coming down the line. Um, and I thought that was great. So that there's an innocence, because nobody's anticipating the war, because they simply don't know it's coming. So they're getting on with the other important things in society, you know, at the, at the time. Mrs. De Lacy, the secretary of the Little Pendleton Anti-Suffragist Society, will now address the meeting. We can be absolutely certain this is how it was seen by people in 1910. These pieces would be performed, you know, in churches or in meetings as well, uh, and there'd be a whole like selection of things they'd do. Sometimes they'd sing or perform or it's kind of interesting again from a contemporary point of view about how engaged people were in the politics of that period and again sort of a bit of a message for today in some ways. There are things in the play that we say that actually relate to the men and women's relationship now like our line in pros and yes, cons when we say right. why should we sort of um, have all this faff about men and make things so easy for them. And I think that sometimes does stand true today even as well. Why is there to be all this fuss about him? Why must we all smooth his path and wait upon him and think about nothing else all day long but his comfort? The writing is, that I think they're all four of the pieces of tremendous writing and it's all written in. You know, yeah. um, so it just, it just fits. Yeah. We've treated it with great respect as a piece, as though it was, which it is, a great, you know, very good piece of writing, uh, and to, to actually bring it to life, so that you really do see human beings from 1910, if you see what I mean, but of course with a very contemporary edge to it. Oh, please do, she says, we want such as you. Oh, Lord, said I, it took a back. This play is the first time that it's ever been put on. Which play? Which one are you talking about? Pros and cons. Pros and cons. No, been no, done. Yeah, yeah. Recorded, anyway. So, and being the centenary of the First World War, even though there's quite a lot of a lot of stuff, it's still something I think is interesting. Yeah, to, but that's so. the point. It's not. The cent this is not the centenary of the First World War. That's another point, isn't it? It's pre the First World War. Yes, but the event is to commemorate that. But this is, but this is to paint a picture of life in Britain before the war absolutely like an exhibition of living photographs almost of that period which the actors bring back to life. This mother Eve in the garden long ago started the fashion. Fashion's been a fashion. She wore a dress that is messed by the street. Still every season got a change of belief. She still if she came to town. Oh, what would Mother Eve think of my new Parisian gown? As I take my morning promenade, quite a fashion card on the promenade. Now I don't mind nice boys staring hard, if it satisfies them.